Good morning to you. Thanks for joining us on The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. On the show this morning, presidency says an end to terrorism and banditry in Northwest is in sight, insisting that security architecture is under reformation. What is the true picture? We'll also be looking at the renewed call for Nigerians to be allowed to carry firearms to protect themselves. Is this the way forward? And we will review the biggest stories making headlines across national dailies. Well, thanks for staying with us on The Breakfast. I am Justin Akadonye. And I am Masiboko. Good morning and thank you for joining us. Happy holiday, by the way. Yes, happy Easter to all Nigerians. We trust you had yourself a wonderful celebration. And, uh, and I, we are sure that you actually celebrated in moderation because whatever it is, uh, you do just uh, try and reach out to the average Nigerian. Today is still a holiday for some people uh, because we are here yet again. Merci. <laughs> <laughs> the story of our lives, right? <laughs> I'm sure that it would be a conversation for another day. Yes, let's not dwell on that. But whatever it is, I just celebrate and try and rest because uh, tomorrow is another day uh, for some people. Tomorrow will be like um, a Monday for them. Well, let's just go straight to uh, what is trending. On top trending, uh, Queensland schools is in the news again. And right now, they have allegedly, from what we are uh, uh, report and post, we are seeing on Twitter, they have allegedly concealed a rape incident that happened uh, when um, the student went on trip. Messi, the last have not been heard concerning issues of um, rape of minors and uh, schools um, colluding, having a hand, not like having a hand, knowing what happened and then not actually telling the entire picture. See, so it's, it's a lot to grapple with at this time. Uh, that's cool. Chris Lynn, first of all. It's in my ear. Uh, that's on the one side. I mean, that's an aside. But most importantly is the fact that there are a lot of, you know, conversations following it. So I don't know if you saw the letter that was written by the school suspending the 10-year-old the for involving in gross misconduct. And it still brings us back to the conversation. I'd like to go through that particular letter. And he says that um, indefinite suspension, it was discovered that your daughter was involved in improper behavior during recently concluded world school games in Dubai. And with few, uh, with few of her counterparts willingly participating in a game that called Truto De, a game which led her and few other co learners to carry out immoral act as a lights out instruction was given. In line with our core values centered on discipline, Chrisland School have zero tolerance for improper behavior and misconduct. A full scale investigation has been done and parents of all of the corporates, learners have duly been notified with necessary punishment meted out on the learners. The parent gave their full cooperation realizing the need to work with the school so they the learners can be corrected and be of expected proper behavior henceforth. However, in the course of the school's effort to see how best uh, we can help who was a major participant in the whole incident, every effort to inform you as her parent about the incident and ensure that this improper behavior permanently corrected has proved to be uh, futile. And that's what you have. I mean, that's part of the letter. Uh, it continues by saying, we cannot, as a school, condone such consequently. Is hereby uh, is hereby placed on indefinite suspension until you, as a parent, ensure that she is punished, adequately counselled, and rehabilitated. However, if you need our assistance in any form to rehabilitate, you, the school is willing to assist. Thank you, yours faithfully, and you have the GI uh, ZK, Mrs. Head Teacher, signing that. So I don't know how to feel right here. It's, it's confusing. Hmm. You have a 10 year old, I mean 10 year old, so you can imagine whoever is involved. These people went to school. I remember once upon a time, I was in school, uh, you know, the nursery school, we usually go for this competition. You're supposed to have a chaperone. That's what it's called, right? Am mm -hmm. I correct? Yes, you're right. So but how do you even, <laughs> I don't understand. How do 10-year-olds get involved in, let's even go by the letter that's been written. 
and you yeah. said that they willingly participated. Do these schools even understand the law? Do they understand the constitution? It breaks my heart and it's really sad. Of course. I mean, I don't even, I can't even imagine what a parent would be going through. You're talking about a 10-year-old, and you need to understand what the Constitution says about a child. A child is a child up until he or she turns 18, and that's what the Constitution guarantees. You know, so you look at the letter, first of all, you find the fact that the letter even said that, you know, they willingly accepted to be part of a game called Truth or Dare. How do you even on, allow 10-year-olds on, on by whose themselves? Supervision, these are you know, children. Those, those, are the, those are issues you need to start asking. Like you have rightly said, you know, they go out of the country. Um, of course, their parents didn't go with them. The schools should have shepherds who um, would actually look and supervise these children. You're coming out with a letter to tell us that um, they participated in the truth or death. So in other know. words, whatever had transpired it was a them. consensual. It was actually For they children. both agreed. For, for, a ten, for a 10 year old. <laughs> I know, I, it, it, well, it is really alarming some of the, the, the things we just see out there, or some of the defense and um, people try to give when issues like this happen. These are children, no matter what you see, no matter how you try to justify your inactions, uh, they will still remain children. They are supposed to be supervised all through the time. They went out of the country, you know. In your name, uh, you, it's your responsibility to take care of the children. And uh, you're telling, if they were doing truth or there, no one was there, no one saw them and then allowed them and allowed them to go uh, See, it's uh, with system. such games. Justin is a system. The system entirely has failed. And so you have schools who have constantly, because if you go to the schools, there's so much that they pay. Parents would have to chunk out a lot of, a money, whole lot of money, you know, to pay for school, school fees and what have you. And it is really not an excuse. I mean, as a matter of fact, looking at that letter, it's a lot to you know deal with. First, you ask, you 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 begin to make some kind of defense in the letter because we've seen we've had a lot of people making comments. I haven't seen the video. I've been looking out for that video, I've been searching to see the video mm. because I have had comments where people say, at the end of the day, it wasn't really rape. So you find out that the child. I would use the word a child. If she's a 10-year-old, she's an 11-year-old, she is a child. Mm. And that would mean that you are expected to have people who are supposed to protect her and protect her interest and mm -hmm. help her make decisions and choices up until she gets to that point True. where she can decide or him or her can decide for themselves. So on one hand, it's negligent. I mean, it is total disregard. It is ignorance, whatever you want to. However, they failed you want to in their responsibility. The school has actually failed. The school did, yes. How do you even go about to even say, oh, they did? Because if you, you, you had the part of the letter that said they agreed to it, how? <laughs> let's look at the age now and at this point in time. Children cannot even go into agreements. Legally, it will not, because they are children. it's not even binding. I mean, what would you say they are agreed? They cannot. They have not gotten to the age of consent, which is eighteen, like you have rightly said. So, how would you tell me they agreed? Uh, uh, fine. I read comments on Twitter, you know, suggesting that um, it's a breakdown of um, the family values, as in for children of that age to be involved. Uh, a whole lot came out of all of this to be involved in such um, sexual immorality. And so, if know. there's anything to go by, Justin. Mm -hmm. Family, the family has failed, and and they, and, and that's time, and that's not mercy. even a conversation. Mm. But we are also saying that because you have a system, you have structures, you have a system in place that if you have, it's like the Mario game. Mm -hmm. So you have different lives. If one fails, you have another. So you have another stage where. So if the family has failed, you have the school. If the school fails, you have another structure. The church is there. I mean, it just goes not in any progression, but I'm just saying. So the family fails, what happens? There's a school. And if the school fails, there's a church, right? Or there's a mosque. The or there's another group. There's something us, that should protect know. these children. But rather, we constantly take advantage of these children. We're very negligent. We put out this. It is totally unacceptable. So the, the, there are two sides of a story. This, the, on, on the other hand, is saying that the video that was put out, the video that's in circulation, you have video of children that were saying, oh, you just had a But how are they even the record boys, themselves? I mean, you know, what, what, what thoughts came to uh, Some people mind. say that, you know, have kids been very stupid, and that's why they were engaging in whatever it is that they were doing. But let's even look at the ages. So it's just a justification for rape. So you can't even call it rape. So you can't <laughs> say it's rape because the child actually consented to. They agreed to be having a truth or dare. Really? 
and there was nobody in a strange land when your you know parents of these children decided to hand over their kids to you hoping that these children will be saved they will be taken care of they you know they would be protected it just shows us and constantly every other time that we wake up to the news and the reports that um, we have failed we have failed our children yes we have, we have the indeed we have the government has failed. failed everyone has really failed and it is really saddening that this is even happening for a 10-year-old. And then you put her on a suspension. You're saying it's not rape. Uh, she was involved in a moral act because you think that she has a right. She understands what she was doing at 10. Really? Oh, Justin, we need to move on. Yes, uh, but I just have to close by saying that a whole, uh, this has actually brought a lot of things to the fore. You know, during that time, we were talking about uh, what children, content um, children consume, you know, and... Um, children playing truth of there and uh, getting to the extent of um, getting very immoral about um, things. Um, how did they even get there? What are they watching? What are we teaching our children? How would they even think of um, recording all of that? But let's just move on, like uh, Messi um, has said. Uh, uh, Shiba Joe is uh, in the news. Uh, just um, the other day, uh, Ren Omokri posted um, um, a tweet, uh, and uh, he was asking if um, the vice president uh, is actually a Judas. Judas, he was trying to relate him to Judas and because Jesus, of Easter picture, and you, everything. You know, you need to say, <laughs> Justin, I like how sometimes you, you just want to keep it very, very low and very simple. <laughs> but let's say what it is. All I right. mean, the, there are posters that's been making the rounds, yes, especially yeah. in... Uh, the city, and we're talking about Lagos right now, and so you see these posters of the vice president who it's been put out, and then some part of it, you know, with a very funny picture, he has his hand uh, in his chin, and there's a, a write-up saying, a, mm. what's it called again? Judas. 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 And so, of course, if you talk about the Judas story, following Easter, when that particular season, he talks about betrayal betraying the master, that's Jesus, mm. giving him that keys, and he knows that he's going to sell him and take some money for all of that. But not necessarily. For those who are making that comparison, literally, there's no connection. That's number one. I'm not holding brief for the vice president, but I'm saying that if you follow the story, if you're going to link the story of the vice president and that of Judas, there's no connection. But you want to even call it, so we understand the point, if you, because if you look at it in this literal sense and you follow it from start to finish, you will see the entire process. It led to a point where he got to the garden, <laughs> hugged and kissed Jesus. And it's a whole lot it was worse. a moment where he <laughs> was going to be arrested. So, but like I said, it wasn't part of it. <laughs> but, but really, maybe necessarily the part is the part of betrayal and feeling like, oh, you had a master. If they're going to go betray, the then that's um, uh, maybe like um, Peter to Jesus. You know, deny <laughs> Jesus. Like he betrayed Jesus. <laughs> Peter, Peter good time. is a typical Nigerian. <laughs> I, if, you know, if you want to begin to like him, Peter, in this particular part, you just say it's a very Nigerian kind of character. <laughs> he had to move away. Uh, the, way, the way Nigerians um, play down so many things, I know there, there is a whole lot of tension, but it could be very comical. You know? But then when I read reactions and when I see things like this, you say I try to play down things because, first, what do I do? <laughs> no, so for, for, for I think that the issue of, of the vice president is the fact that a lot of people or however you want to put it, yes. you want to look at it in this real sense, um, the former governor of Lagos State, yeah. Tunubu, yeah. has been very supportive. So you would say that uh, the fact that you have the vice president right now being the vice president uh -huh. is because of him, yes. uh, because of all of that, the coverage being carried along, uh, however, pushed him, he got to the point that he has gotten to. But let's also understand that everyone has a right. My point he, exactly. He, he has a right. Yes. Constitutionally guaranteed. Constitutional guaranteed right. And so right. it's not such a big deal. So for those who are supporting, yes or not supporting, it's really not a, an issue. Because at the end of the day, uh, everyone has a right to contest. I mean, everyone has a right to vote and be voted for. So if the vice president has declared his intention to run for, um, you know, to seek for the seat or position of the president of the country, then it's okay. He's acting within his constitutional right. It's okay to have all of this sentiment surrounded. But at the end of the day, uh, there are several hurdles that you need to overcome. Mm. And so first of all, 
uh, which political party is he vying for? I mean, on the first, you have to win the primaries. You, have to, you have to become the flag bearer of the party. Particular party. And it's the APC that we're talking about. We know how many persons who have actually declared Several as hurdles. persons who have come out. You have Rotimi Amechi. I mean, you have a lot of persons who have come out and say, hey, we are... Um, going to be, we want to become president, mm -hmm. we're seeking for this position. So, so there's a lot. There are a lot of hurdles that they need to cross. First of all, he has to win the primaries and in his party at the party level before he comes out you know, to the public. And Nigerians would always decide. So I don't think it's a big deal. It's not an issue. I don't know uh, why we're making But I understand the fact that some people will feel like it's a lot of betrayal. And well, that's okay. The thing is that people with all this talk, people have the right um, to decide whatever they want to do. Legally, he's not done anything right. Some people would say, well, morally... Anything wrong. Anything wrong, sorry. So morally, they're like, uh, well, Tinubu is his principle. What morality this. are we talking about? Mercy, for instance, for morality. instance, for instance, now, you um, are my colleague. Uh, you came out and said that uh, you want to be president, you know, of... So what's um, wrong with that? Plus TV Africa. And... Uh, no, I don't <laughs> That's not even a very <laughs> <perfect> example. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just trying to make some fun out of it. But the fact is that even if I have similar ambition, nothing stops me. You know, if I, at, at, at worst, I could tell you, Mercy, I also have um, this um, uh, similar ambition like you, uh, but um, I really want to pursue it. But let's just um, play friendly. Because uh, from constitution, uh, from all angles, I am also eligible to contest. So, moral or no moral, I feel um, we should leave the vice president alone, and he's not a Judas, if you ask me. We'll leave it at that, and that's as much as we can take on top trending this Easter Monday. We'll take a quick break, and we'll come back and see what uh, the front pages of major dailies are saying this morning. Stay with us.